Trinarapi Suni Chena is not the highest. Ashlisiva Padabitam Panashtuma, that is the highest. However, you have to go through the gateway of Trinarapi Suni Chena to approach anything higher. Nadanamna Janamna Sundarin, you cannot approach that verse until you surrender to Trinarapi Suni Chena. What to speak of Ainanda Tanuja Kinkaram, Nayanam Galarashudhaya, Yugayatam Nameshina, Ashlesya Vapadratam Panashruma. To try to jump over Trinadapi Sunichena to these other revelations of Krishna, to these other states of consciousness, is Sahajya. It's cheap. It's not real. It's show bottle. It's superficial. Therefore, Trinadapi Sunichena is, is a very preliminary necessity that we adopt in our life. And as we go into the higher and higher realms, Trinadapi Sunichena must always accompany us. Because as soon as we give that up, we fall back down from wherever we came from. Yes? So that's the first. The highest is Prema Pumarta Mahan. Love of Krishna, unalloyed love. But such love is not possible if we don't chant purely. And we cannot chant purely unless we are Trinata Bhisuni Chena. So that is all important. As far as getting respect, we have our human side. Our human side wants to be appreciated. That may be there. But it should not be conditional. Whether we get it or don't get it, we should respect others and we should carry on with our devotional service because it is a test. If we're not appreciated, are we performing our service because it pleases Krishna or because we're being appreciated for it? Sometimes you'll be appreciated. And that's very encouraging. We should be grateful to anyone who appreciates us. We should feel unworthy and grateful. But if we don't get appreciation, we should understand that if I carry on properly, Krishna's appreciating and Guru's appreciating. So in this way, we don't demand. If we get, we feel the causeless love of Krishna coming through this Vaishnava. And if we don't get, we feel another type of causeless love of Krishna coming through this Vaishnava. And as far as materialistic people, sometimes we have to be very bold to preach Krishna consciousness to materialistic people. Sometimes we have to be very bold. Arjuna was bold, but his inner attitude was very humble and gentle. Although the necessary service to Krishna in that situation demanded that he be very bold. Sometimes Prabhupada would call people rascals. So how is that amani na mani dena? Offer all respect to others. Rascal, I kick your face, <laughs> kick his face with boot. Because actually, these people were misleading others. These people were spreading a dharma all over the world, destroying pure devotional service because of their contaminated ideas. So Prabhupada was not envious of that person. He was not hateful of that person. He was just out of love and compassion, as Krishna's representative, that he was protecting all of us by pointing out the disease very strongly, according to the necessity. But I don't think Darwin ever had a greater well-wisher than Srila Prabhupada. I think Prabhupada has prayed for his soul many times. But as far as his teachings, Prabhupada wanted to protect the world from what would spoil any possibility of faith in God. So yes, amani na manadena. That was Prabhupada's mood always. But in his service, sometimes he had to act in a very, very bold way and speak such. In the mood of service. No separate agenda than just fulfilling the wish of his Guru Maharaj and protecting us. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.